the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 277, Nehemiah 4-7, Nehemiah's 52 days. Thanks to the leadership of Nehemiah, who changed a crisis into opportunity, and the effort of the people who labored together, eventually rebuilding the wall of Jerusalem was completed. First point, not long after starting the project to reconstruct the walls of Jerusalem, Nehemiah faced difficulties. Not long after starting the project to reconstruct the Jerusalem walls, Sambalat's men started to interfere. When Nehemiah's people went ahead with the project, despite the interruptions, they became very angry and started insulting them. Nevertheless, Nehemiah continued on and prayed to God for help. This really fumed Sambalat's men, and they started to plot against them. Nehemiah prayed all the more and asked God to help him guard his mouth. However, although this did not shake Nehemiah, the people who were with him were inevitably troubled. The people became divided into three categories. The first group claimed that they would not be able to finish reconstructing the walls. The second group feared that they would be attacked, and the third group suggested stopping the construction and to fight against Sambalas men. When things started to get out of hand, Nehemiah had to take this into his own hands. First, Nehemiah decided that this project would not be postponed, and so the people would hold tools in one hand to work and weapons in the other to protect themselves. Second, Nehemiah encouraged the people that God would be with them, so they need not fear. And so the people were able to continue their task. Second point, Nehemiah pointed out that the holy citizens in the kingdom of priests were never to deal in real estate or sell people for money. Whilst Nehemiah was dealing with the external issues with the Sambalot, internal problems occurred. This was none other than the outcry of the Jews. They cried out that they were lacking in grains, that famine was taking its toll, that Persia's tax rate was too high, and that their children were being sold as slaves. This was indeed something that the holy citizens in the kingdom of priests were most certainly forbidden from doing. The laws in the kingdom of priests forbade both land and human sales. Another problem within the community of returned captives was that they did not look after their neighbors. When Nehemiah heard all this, he assembled the people and publicly rebuked them. He furthermore preferred some outlines and suggestions to solve these issues. Nehemiah summoned the priests and made the nobles and officials take an oath to do all that they had promised. The first was to decline payment of future interest. The second was to send back what was not theirs. And the third was to return the interest they had received so far. Third point. During the 12 years Nehemiah was governor, he did not receive any bribes for his work and fed 150 people every day in his house. Nehemiah had outstanding leadership skills as well as a devoted attitude. First, he did not receive bribes for his work as governor. Second, he did not take from the people as other governors did. Nehemiah did not acquire any personal land and worked the same as his brothers. Furthermore, 150 Jews and officials ate at his table. 
if we look at the circumstances of the time, a famine had struck, and therefore grains and other types of foods were scarce. But during such a difficult time, Nehemiah offered his own food to the people and also declared that no one had to pay interest. As such, Nehemiah was an outstanding leader. Fourth point, Sambalas' men skimmed, wrote threatening letters, and also sent false prophets to interrupt and prevent the Jerusalem walls from being reconstructed. The people of Sambalat made plans to kill Nehemiah in order to prevent the Jerusalem walls from being reconstructed. They concealed their intentions and called Nehemiah to the assembly four times. But as Nehemiah knew their intentions, he declined their offer. And so they sent Nehemiah a threatening letter. They told Nehemiah that there was a rumor spreading, that he was revolting against the Persian Empire, and that he was trying to become king of the Jews. They tried to lure him in by arranging a meeting and then planned to assassinate him. However, Nehemiah refused their offer once again. When Nehemiah did not cooperate, they brought in Shumea, the false prophet. This also did not work, and Nehemiah refused again. Despite all of this, Nehemiah pushed forth with his law and prayed to God all throughout. Fifth point, Nehemiah completed the Jerusalem wall reconstruction in 52 days and then established the sermon to be responsible for the management of the walls. After experiencing a great deal of difficulties, the Jerusalem walls were finally reconstructed. Indeed, it was astonishing that this whole project was completed within just 52 days. Despite how the people shed many tears and sweat, they confessed that it was all thanks to God. God had raised Nehemiah as the wine bearer of Arthur Jaxis in order to fulfill this. Thus, no one can interfere or change God's history or vision. However, God's vision requires the sweat and tears of humans. Although the walls were put up, this did not stop the enemies from invading and attacking. Before the walls were completed, it was no use closing the gates. As there were no gates, wild animals came in during the night, as well as enemies. This was the reason Nehemiah wished to carry out this project, to those who did not have the strength to build even their own houses. Nehemiah encouraged them to build the walls so that they would be protected. After completing this, Nehemiah recorded the names of the first return of captives in his book. Nehemiah recorded the leaders of the first group of captives and then recorded the people according to their families and regions. He also recorded the names of the priests. The record of the priests Nehemiah wrote was the same as those in Ezra chapter 2, which shows how precise the records were made by Nehemiah. The project for reconstructing the world was not just Nehemiah's wish, but God's wish. God wished for his people to be protected and to be secure. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.